This is a video lesson of the, well, this is the lesson you missed uh, today. So I'm going to go over, uh, a, once again, a box at a RAM. But now we're going to add a little bit more math to it. Oh, really, actually, a whole lot more math. You have a five kilogram box on a ramp that's 20 degrees. Um, the ramp, the box is below. We're going to scroll down and label all the angles on the ramp. We'll label the weight force on the box, um, which is measured in newtons now. Notice we were not given a weight. We were given a mass. And I know that because I've got kilograms. And did you remember that when you have mass and you want kilograms? Well, technically, you should multiply by 9.8 but we're allowed to multiply by 10. So five times 10 is 50 newtons. So that's the first thing you can change on your sheet is 50 newtons. And in pencil, we're gonna draw the parallel and perpendicular components. Parallel component is the weight force that acts down the ramp. Perpendicular component is the weight force that acts on the ramp that's perpendicular to the ramp. So let's go down and draw all the forces. Get your ruler and your pencil ready because we're going to draw the parallel and perpendicular components. We'll skip those questions until later. So what you'll see is a box and a ramp, and it'll have a weight force on it. This weight force we've already said is 50 newtons. And what we have to do is do the parallel component, which we'll put it right over here. Now the parallel component acts parallel to the ramp. It's the component of the weight force that causes the box to go down. So that looks like that. The perpendicular is perpendicular to the ramp. And when you're done, you should have a twisted right triangle. So make a force that's perpendicular to the ramp. And when you're done, you should have a right triangle. Here you go. That looks like, oops. This is, uh, actually could be better. It's a little off. And you can see we have a right triangle. This is the weight force. The black force is the weight force. The, what's that, orange or red? Red force is the parallel component. And let's let's give it a label. And I want you to give it a label as well. So whatever I have in my picture, you should have in your picture, there's the parallel component and the perpendicular component that represents the weight force's uh, component that's perpendicular to the ramp. So this represents how hard the, the blue force is, how hard the box presses on the ramp. Um, and let's put the ramp angle in there. The ramp angle is almost always right there. There's theta. Theta is a Greek symbol for uh, angle. So let's get that right in there. And you do this on your, your quiz. If that's theta, then this is, whoops. That's theta, then this is also theta. This little angle, this angle down here is theta as well. So that's theta, so label that theta. And so there you go, we've done our, you have to make your picture look like my picture. And maybe you can pause it. And there you go, you got the two components of the weight force. Let's save and close. And so it looks like that, it's a bit, whole lot better picture. This is the ramp angle, theta, this is the angle here now. So let's go back up and see what else we can fill in. Because we did number three, draw the, oops, draw the rest of the forces acting on the box. We have the box's force on the ramp equals the ramp's force on the box. The box's force, the box's force on the ramp equals the ramp's force on the box. Now, the upward force on the box is always called the normal force. The upward force on the box, we've talked about normal before. If you're sitting in a chair, the chair's force on you is called the normal force. So what we haven't done, we've got to go back over here and let's put the, let's put the, um, box, the ramps force on the box. Now, here's the deal. Um, the blue force is the box's force on the ramp. And you could write this down on your uh, sheet there. Find a good open spot. Here's what you should know. Newton said that when object A applies a force to object B, object B applies the same force on A, but in the opposite direction. I'll say it a second time so you can get it down. When object A 
applies a force to object B, object B applies the same force, but in the opposite direction. All right, maybe you can rewind that. So the box applies a force to the ramp that's equal to the ramp's force on the box. So how big should, um, how big should the ramp's force in the box be? Actually, just as big as this. Of course, it, there's, now this is in the wrong direction, but it's the right size, All right? So let's see if we can change the, uh, let's, let's just change it around and put the narrow on this side. And so there you go. Now you have to draw a force. This is the normal force, the ramp's force on the box. Let's label it. Normal force. There's the normal force. That's the ramp's force on the box. All right, let's save it. There's the normal force. So it's as big as the purpose. So write this down. On a ramp, the normal force is equal to the uh, perpendicular component. On a ramp, the normal force is equal to the perpendicular component. Now, that's not a fill in the blank. You just have to find a, a spot to write that. Okay. So make sure you get that in those two. Now, here's where we get really mathematical. Let's look at our picture again. And this ramp angle is theta, right? So what's the force of the box on the ramp? That's the perpendicular component, right? Perpendicular. Oops, it's too big. Let's go small. Let's go the font to like 12. The force of the, the box on the ramp is the perpendicular component. Oops. Perpendicular component. So per perpendicular component. Box's fan force on ramp, perpendicular component, which equals, here's, here's where the physics comes in. The box's force on the ramp is the blue force, which is adjacent to the theta. So the perpendicular component is found with uh, cosine, not sine. Sorry about that. And the, let's get the font low. The parallel component that's what this one over here that's opposite theta will be FG, FG, force of gravity, sine theta. Okay? Force of gravity of the weight, which is in our case, I think it's 50, 50 newtons. Yep, 50 newtons. So that's really a big deal. You've got to know that the perpendicular component is always FG cosine theta, and the parallel component, parallel to the ramp, opposite the theta, is FG sine theta. That is huge. That's the big takeaway today. How to find the parallel and perpendicular component. The perpendicular is always adjacent to theta, and it's FG cosine theta. And the parallel component is parallel to the ramp, always opposite theta. And so it's FG sine theta. That's the huge takeaway of this lesson. So we could stop there. Um, that's what you missed. Um, might be a good idea to, to take a second look at it again, uh, because it's, you know, new, it's old stuff, but it's new stuff. Okay. Take a look at it again.